today is Saturday but I'm going to office office mean uh, not for work but I have workshop today continuous recording will now start on your smartphone connect to a Wi-Fi network whose name starts with thinkware hey Siri open the gate Hey Siri, close the gate. Done. So one other day when I'm going through my Facebook feed, I saw like uh, someone talk about Times movie. Uh, the, if you remember the times movie like there is a time where when the time is over you dead so he's talking about that movie and he's telling how much importance you invest your time on other people's lives so then their life will be better so just invest your time on other people's life to make their lives better that's a uh, whole point of his video and but he's saying if you do that then there will be more people on your funeral and if you just think about yourself and if you invest time on your life there will be no one in your funeral I get it what you are trying to tell but same time I don't get it why we need to do that what's the point of doing that I don't get that part so why I don't get that why you need more people on your funeral if you don't have them uh, when you're alive because you need people when you're alive I completely get his first point of course we need to help others I'm not trying to tell we don't need to help others we must help others Th that is how human evolution worked because we I mean we didn't evolve as a single person we can survive as a single person we need to be stay in a team as a community as a tribe or whatever because that is how human evolution worked I totally get that we need to help uh, on other people but there has to be a limit there has to be a uh, end for that and there has to be a boundary and you should understand I should not cross this line it's totally your call right so I am not here to guide to your life I am talking about that because when I watched that video it kind of ring a bell and how much we do things wrong I mean I don't agree what he's trying to tell but I agree uh, his some points well how we spend the time this is the pa Sometimes you drive with the muscle memory, right? You know exactly uh, where to turn, when to stop, and where the color lights and everything. But when you don't drive for a long time, and because maybe in a uh, uh, fuel situation, maybe because of the pandemic, for some, so whatever the reason, if you don't drive for a long time, then that your muscle memory go away. Then you need to explicitly see, okay, you need to read the boat, where to turn, left or right. <laughs> that's cool and because that's how your brain works right it's like your cash memory and if you're not reusing frequently then it's throw away that's cool see these roads are completely empty I mean other days like these roads are full and sometimes it's heavy traffic this is not because of weekend so this tells how is economical crisis effect on people's life the way we don't take we think okay this is just hunger and medicine that is only impact no people people's happiness it's impacted because people don't go wherever they want to go because they can go uh, because of this fuel crisis people don't want to stay uh, spend the days and days in a fuel queue that's bad
thinking like that I would be late, no? I'm on time. Just finished a very successful workshop for 60 plus newly engineers who's onboarded into this microservice journey. It was very successful, it went well. Anyway, what I was telling is, people tend to ask your time for something as a help, maybe as a favor, they're asking your time. It's okay once in a while you're giving a hand if they really need it. But if they keep asking that, if they keep on your time, it's okay to say no because here's what happened. They keep asking you a time, you can say no, because you're so good, you're kind. So now what you do is you take their task and it, it become your task and you do it. This happened all the time in a project. Sometimes some engineers, they ask favor, right? I'm, it, it's hard for me, can you do this for me? Or something like that. They never learn it. They want you to do it. So when you do it, what happens is, yeah, you learn it, but they don't learn it. So then, since they are not learning, they keep asking your support on a similar task. So now you getting stressed by doing someone else's work. You keep getting work, you keep doing their work and your work may be delayed because when you accept someone's responsibility, it's a responsibility, right? You, know, you need to do it on time. So you delay your work, you get in drag and you feel stressed. Where this time goes? Those are unpaid. It is from your personal time. It is time, it's a time you can enjoy with your life. So, I don't agree. Always you should uh, spend your free time as much as on other people's work. But I would say, give hand for them, help for the people when they need it, but it's not your responsibility. It always should be able to say no. So being a good friend doesn't mean you do all their works. Good friend mean, you help them when they most need it. You be with them when they most need it. That's all what is a good friend mean. Don't get misunderstand. Good friend mean you do all the things they ask. Okay, it's time to go.